Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah J. Awesome. So today I want to talk about one of my most favorite things about my Tesla Model 3. That is the climate on feature. This means that I can leave my climate set to whatever I want for as long as I want. So you just click on your little fan, that's your little climate control here, and then you just click on. And I already have the AC, so when I click on on, it turns the AC on full blast. It says here, climate will stay on after you leave the car. And if you want to adjust the temperature, you can also put it on heater as well. You just hit on and then you'll click on your temperature here and then you can adjust to heater. You can adjust to whatever degree you want and it will have it on that. When you click off right here, that just means normal climate like you're driving the car. And also when you use this feature, when you walk away with your phone, it still automatically locks the car and sentry mode works like normal. So basically your car is just like you're normally walking away, except it leaves the climate on whatever you set up until the car gets to 20% battery and then will automatically shut off sentry mode and climate control. I love this feature. I can't get enough of it. And I have been using the crap out of it because I figure my car is still under warranty right now. I've put, um, let me see how many miles I've put on it. I've, oh my God, I've, I've put 17,975 miles on my car since September 28th of last year. And today is July 10th. This is the first summer that I've actually had my Tesla and it has changed my life. I've been doing some experiments to see how well the car actually handles this feature. We did get up to over a hundred this year in Texas already. And, you know, I have all black interior and the sun is coming through all the windows. I haven't had the windows tinted yet. So it gets, it can get super hot in here. I use one of these and I always put the reflective side up, not the cool zebra side. That's where I get the most heat in this car is from the front windshield. So I do use my reflective sunshade and that helps tremendously, especially for protecting my screen because my screen can get super, super hot in the back of it from all this sun coming through. You can see the sun on my hand right here. So what I've been doing is every time I go in a store or the grocery store or go to the gym or something like that, I've just been leaving my climate on. I leave the AC on full blast in my car. Now there is another issue with this that I will discuss at the end of this video. It is a problem that I have found using the AC, but we'll get to that in a minute. Basically, let me go ahead and show you this little experiment that I did. I just wanted to show you what it really looks like when you use climate on. So I want to do a little test here. I'm at the gym and there's no telling how long I'm going to be here, but I am parked in the sun. It's 88 degrees outside right now and I have 36% battery. And what I'm going to do is turn my AC to on and I'm going to leave the AC. I'll turn that down for a second so y'all can hear me. I'm going to leave the AC on full blast while I go in the gym and work out. We're going to see what percent battery I lose in an hour basically. All right, so I ran back out to my car for this one hour mark here. At 321, we were at 36% battery and my car was in the sun. It's a little bit overcast now, but not too bad. It's still 88 degrees outside. So for an hour and six minutes, we've lost 6% battery by leaving our AC on while we go inside and work out at the gym. Let's look at how much I drove today. Since last charge this morning, which I left my house at 5.30 this morning, I've driven 103 miles today, and that was to go to work, 
come back home and then now to come to the gym. So I've driven 103.8 miles today and and we still have 29% and I've left the climate on for about an hour and 20 minutes today on full blast in the heat. Anyway, now I have sentry mode on 24 hours a day. So minimum loss, the first time I did this experiment with climate on, it was about 76 degrees outside and it was really, really sunny and my kids were sweating and they were like, ah, the seats are burning my legs. So I started leaving the climate on in my car so my I wouldn't have to listen to my kids complain about how freaking hot it was. We got back in the car and there was like condensation all over everything. And that day when it was 76 degrees outside, I was losing about 5% battery per hour and that's with Sentry Mode on in the Target parking lot, which you know is very, very busy. Then the next experiment that I did, I left the car in my driveway for several hours. I left it on for four hours. It was in my driveway, no shade, no sunshade up, in the sun. It was 96 degrees. And I calculated that I was losing 8% battery per hour. Sentry Mode wasn't very active, but it was on. So that's the most that I lost with Climate On was 8% per hour. So it seems to be the minimum battery loss per hour is 5% and the maximum so far is 8% battery per hour. Now, I definitely recommend this if you're just driving around town, but if you're camping or you're doing long trips or something like that, I don't recommend this. There is a camping feature where you can also leave climate on, but that's really, I think, meant for if you're at a campsite where they have the RV hookup and you have the adapter and your mobile charger where you can plug it in at the campsite. So those are all the good things. The good thing is it keeps your car freezing cold or super warm, whatever you want, while you go run your errands and you come back to something that is comfortable. You can start it and stop it with your phone. You can change the temperature with your phone and control it remotely from your watch if you have an Apple Watch and the Stats app. Now let's talk about the downside. The downside is obviously battery loss if you really really need that range and a recent problem that I found is not in particular with climate on it's just with the AC in general I haven't made a video about this yet but I'm just going to touch on this briefly my car has started getting a strange smell in it and it just smells really musty when I turn the air on it doesn't matter if I turn on heater or AC it just smells gross and my car is Clean. There's not, I never put anything stinky in my car. Uh, it's, it's not from the cabin being dirty. That's for sure. I had Tesla mobile service come out yesterday to look at something else. And I asked them about the strange smell and I assumed that I probably need to change my cabin filters. And the guy said, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about with model three and model Y apparently they're having issues with this musty smell and it's because I leave it on circulated air 24 7 all the time 24 7 circulated air because you know the air cools off faster if you keep recirculating the cold air it just gets colder and colder but if you're pulling in air from outside then it can't cool it as fast because it's just always pulling in fresh air but the problem with that is that the air filter is just constantly circulating that same air and the bacteria and mold spores and pollen spores and things like that are just breeding in there and also because of where the filters are located in my car they're somewhere down here in the console you have to or or somewhere near the console and in the interior of the car so you have to pull off the side of the console and then peel up the carpet to change out two air filters in there two pollen filters and he also said because of where the evaporator is located uh, for all, I guess, the condensation, it's not being able to evaporate as easily. So I'm not sure if this is a design flaw with Model 3 and Model Y or what exactly is going on there. I don't fully understand where it's located or how it works, but that's what I was told. That is kind of an issue. So I suggest if you're going to be using Climate On all the time like I do, you should probably put it on fresh air. Don't leave it on circulated air because that circulated air 24-7, he said, is is causing an issue with bacteria and stuff breeding in there in the evaporator area from all the moisture and condensation and things like that. I am going to be having my filters changed out and they're going to put a cleaner and clean it out and stuff, but that's kind of, that really sucks. And again, this is from all of my climate, not just from using climate on. I'm just using it and you know, creating that much more condensation from constant use. 
let me just show you what that looks like. This is the circulated air. You're just, you're just recirculating the air in the cabin constantly. So he said to keep that musty smell from getting in here and to allow that air to escape into the atmosphere and get out, you know, some of the bacteria and stuff that's breeding in there and the mold and the, you know, pollen spores and all that stuff. You want to take it off circulated air and let it keep pulling in fresh air into the car. He was like, basically, if it's crazy, crazy hot, you know, use this circulated air or if it's super, super cold. But if it's not crazy cold or crazy hot, then you need to just not have it on circulated air for Model 3 and Model Y. Now, I have had my car in some areas recently where the air was really gross and disgusting near um, basically a dump. And we also had, um, I had a dead rodent <laughs> next to the car for a couple days, long story. So I think I probably sped up this problem by pulling additional bacteria into my filters. So I just want to mention that problem so that you can try to avoid that. But overall, Climate On is a freaking miracle if you live somewhere that it's hot all the time. I am in love with it, especially if you have a new baby or something and you get back in the car after you've been shopping, grocery shopping, go to the mall, whatever. Like, it's so nice that you can just cool the car off before you get in here. So this is such a luxury and I absolutely love it. That's it, that's the pros and cons of Climate On. I use it all the freaking time. I love it, my kids love it, my husband loves it. My husband gets mad if I remember to do it for the kids but I don't remember to do it for him. You know, it's, it's great and I highly recommend using it. I haven't had any issues so far except for the smell and that's not from using Climate On. It's, I don't know. Um, eventually I'll figure out more about that whenever I have those cleaned out via the Tesla mobile service. I am gonna schedule that soon and we'll talk about the cost of that and the process whenever I get that done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week.